guys welcome back to my channel so today as it is the first day of 2018 well it's not the first day it's the first video from me of 2018 that I wanted to share with you what I got for Christmas all of my like beauty and makeup stuff that I got for Christmas I'd love to know what you guys got if you let me know in the comments down below especially if you've got anything the same as me so let's get started so this might seem like a little bit of an unexciting present, but I've been after these for weeks. So these little cosmetics bags, this is from Superdrug. I got three of these because I've been obsessed and I kept mentioning them to my husband whenever I saw them. I was like, oh, aren't they like the perfect size? Because I really wanted a clear makeup bag. So when you go on holiday or you're traveling, you've got, you know, something where you can just see where everything is. You do not got to root around or find something. It's also, at, at the moment, it's got this like insert, just you know, to make it stand up while it's on display. But I'm gonna keep mine in there for as long as I can because I feel like that gives you a bit of extra protection for your stuff and a bit of like more of a solid base. But I really love the size and shape of these. I feel like if you're going um, on holiday for like two weeks, then I'll, you know, use at least two of these for all of my like, you know, travel stuff, my makeup, but also my toiletries as well, like shampoo, shower gels, sun cream, so nothing's gonna leak. Um, and also my makeup and I can see where everything is, but also just really handy, like I brought everything down for filming today in here, because they're just such a good size. And I feel like they'll slot really nicely into a suitcase or a travel bag as well. So I got three of these, which is a bit of a weird present for most people, but for me, not in the slightest. Now next up, probably my absolute favourite present of the whole of Christmas is this mirror. So this mirror is from number seven um, and I saw it, I asked my mum for it because she was after like extra presents, you know what mums are like, they're like oh I need to get you something else, have you got any ideas? So I saw this mirror and I've been after a mirror because my filming mirror broke a while ago. I have a little mirror that's just down here um, and it broke and so I've just been using a broken mirror whenever I'm filming so I really wanted a new mirror so I could move the one I use you know every day just to get ready down here and have a really nice one upstairs and this was really inexpensive. I think this was under £20 from Boots um, and it's just everything. I mean, I saw it, but it was in a case, so I couldn't play around with it. So it's, it lights up, I haven't got it plugged in, so I can't show you. But as you can see the ring around here, that lights up, so it's like a ring light. And I used to have this one in my bedroom, which I got off of Amazon. You can see all those little dots are lights up there. So that one, it just didn't really help. My bedroom is so dark, and if I'm getting ready before the sun is up or after the sun is gone, I'm literally getting, like, my, doing my makeup in the pitch blackness, so it's very unhelpful. Uh, and that mirror just, it just sort of shines a light at your eyes and doesn't really, it just blinds you. It doesn't actually help you. In fact, it makes things worse. So yeah, I saw this one, and because it's like that ring light, it's just amazing, it really does light up. It has this dimmer, so you can put as much or as little light on as you want, um, and it really actually does help with the lighting and really give you a really lit up situation to work with. So on the back it has this five time magnification, on the front it's just regular mirror. It's a really good size, like the size of my head, but it's also got a really smallish base, so it doesn't take up loads of room on my dresser. And my favorite thing about it is it you can plug it in, so you're not constantly buying batteries for the light, you can plug it in and it has a really long lead, um, and it goes like in all directions, you can make it side to side, you can bend it backwards and forwards, you can turn it around, it just literally is the most perfect makeup mirror ever and under 20 pounds. Next up, this was in my stocking and my dad is in charge of stockings and he always makes them like themed every year and um, to do with like something to do with your personality. So my husband's is always usually to do with like bikes because he's obsessed with like with bikes and cycling. And um, mine is generally always to do with beauty. Last year it was coconut themed, I think. And this year it was just generally beauty themed. And he put in this little book and generally everything in my um, stocking is like jokey stuff, but this 
is really good. So this is the Little Green Book of Beauty by Sarah Callard, and it's 250 tips from Eco Lifestyle. Now, I wouldn't claim to be like a big eco person. Um, you know, we can all try, we can all try a bit harder, but you know, I'm not a huge, you know, eco person. It's not my bag necessarily. Um, but you know, I am open to improving that, but they're just like amazing tips in here. Little things that, you know, you can use around the house, little things, that, you know, to recycle. So I'll give you an example. So this is number 89, be a honey monster. Honey is one of the best ingredients to incorporate into your natural beauty regime. It has natural moisturizing, nourishing, healing, and rejuvenating properties, as well as being a natural humectant, a substance that attracts and preserves moisture. Manuka honey can be applied topically and appears in a wide range of beauty products. So it's literally got 250 tips like that. And I was just flicking through it and it is really good, really useful. I love it and it's just a really cute little book. Really, really cute. I also got my new background, which I know we're currently we're looking a bit stark, we're looking a bit boring, we're looking a bit dull, we're looking a bit white. However, I have big plans, big plans. So this might be something that goes in the background of my new background. So yeah, so I got this background. My dad got me this. I love it. It looks beautiful, I think. And once I've got a few more bits to make it a bit more interesting, it'll look a lot more relaxed, a lot more friendly, a lot more welcoming, which is what I want my channel to be. So I love my new background. The star of the show from my makeup perspective was the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Oh, I have been desperate for this for so long, so long, well, since it came out. So it was just, I mean, it's 56 pounds, which is a huge amount of money. Not something that I ever just had the spare 56 pounds to throw at a palette. So yeah, I was just hoping and praying that my husband had picked up on the hints for this one and he did. So, I mean, I knew it was nice. I've seen lots of pictures of it. I've seen swatches and everything, but can't tell you when I opened this, it takes my breath away. I mean, it is stunning, stunning. It is just so gorgeous. Like even my daughter who is three was like, oh, what is that mummy? And even my husband could appreciate how beautiful and gorgeous these shades are. I have like used it every day since I got it on Christmas and I'm obsessed. It is stunning. I literally stare at it for like 10 minutes every day that I'm getting ready, trying to decide which shades to use because I just am obsessed with all of them. I've got it on my eyes today. You can see I've got very subtle, very natural eye look today. So it can do everything. It can do very subtle. It can do no makeup makeup and it can do my Christ, what is going on there and everything in between. It is everything. It's so versatile. The shadows blend gorgeous. You need the tiniest bit. It has like the best huge mirror. It's got the shades underneath, which I love. Really nice, solid feeling, gorgeous packaging. It's everything. Everything I dreamed of more. Next up, this powder from MAC, which my mum got for me because we'd been shopping and I had been eyeing it up for a while. Now, I'm not a powder girl. I never, very, very rarely, if ever, put, like powder my whole face. I set my under eye, set my concealer, but I never, ever powder my whole face. But I've been intrigued about this powder. So this is the MAC Next to Nothing pressed powder. Um, and it's supposed to be a sort of silky, luminous finish powder, which is what, I mean, it's never gonna show up. I don't know what I'm doing, but here it is. So this goes along with the next to nothing um, foundation that they have, which is literally supposed to be next to nothing coverage wise, very luminous, very natural. So I thought I was just really intrigued as to whether I would like this because the issue I have with powder is it's generally very mattifying and I don't want to be mattified. I'm very not oily. I'm not dry, I'm just normal skinned, but I don't really have any oily, so I don't need to powder for that reason. And I just always find it mattifies my foundation. I'm always trying to be luminous, so that's why I don't like to powder my whole face. So that's why I was intrigued by this because it claims to have a luminous finish. And oh, 
Let me tell you, it does. It is beautiful. So I used it the first couple times over the top of my Fenty foundation. I've also used it over the top of my Clinique Even Better Glow, which is a luminous foundation. And both of those, it just, it makes your skin luminous, but with no dew or sort of shine, just very lit from within to kill a cliche. So smooth, just gorgeous. It's, I had the shade medium plus, which is probably a mistake. I think I should have been more medium or even light plus in my winter shade, which is like an NC25. But it's fine because it is, I only literally use a tiny bit, so it doesn't really add any colour. Um, but if I was going to use it a bit heavier coverage, I think it goes up to like a medium coverage if you build it up. It's just so silky, so smooth, so luminous. Definitely recommend that you give this a try if that's the kind of powder that you're, you've been looking for. I also got this little paint pot, which is actually like a bit of a happy mistake. So I actually had on my list antique selection paint pot and my mum purchased antique diamond instead, which I've never even heard of, but it's this gorgeous silvery, yeah, I guess like diamondy type shade. So yeah, it was kind of a happy accident is it's this really unusual, gorgeous, I don't even know how to describe it. I guess like silvery, almost with a hint of like olive to it. Um, but yeah, it's just beautiful, really, really gorgeous. So I was actually quite excited because although it was not the one that I had my eye on originally, I've never heard of or seen this one. So I was really excited to try something different. Next up, I got two lipsticks from Jeffree Star. The first one is the one that I have on my lips, and this is one of the lip ammunitions, I think they're called. It's not a liquid lipstick, it's like a bullet, a regular lipstick, and this is in the shade Celebrity Skin, so it's what I have on my lips today. I mean, I wish I'd known what these smell like sooner, because, oh my God, I'm trying not to eat it, but it smells gorgeous, like sweets so beautiful i love this shade it immediately became like my go-to nude i've like barely worn anything else and i've been reaching for a nude and um, my blankety by mac is running nearly run out and i don't think i'm going to replace it now because i've loved this i really like the formula it's really creamy it's really comfortable the coverage is amazing it's really long wearing the smell is everything and I feel like this is like my perfect nude I feel like when I'm paler especially I need a bit more of a deeper nude for my skin tone and this is perfect perfect apparently this is the best-selling lipstick on Beauty Bay fun fact for you fun fact and next up I had to get one of his Christmas collection just because of this insane packaging it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It is gorgeous and I picked up the shade Human Nature. I was really tempted to get Christmas Cookies which is the nude and I guess maybe if it hangs around for long enough I still may but I kind of decided you know what girl you've got enough enough nude liquid lipsticks so I wanted to go with something a bit different and this is kind of similar undertones to this almost like a plummy but a lot darker and I say this was kind of like if celebrity skin had a baby with Scorpio maybe it would look like human nature but it's absolutely gorgeous really wearable kind of like reminds me of Scorpio but much more wearable plum shade and last but not least not a Christmas present I actually picked this up mass well I guess it's a Christmas present to myself from myself and that is the MAC Fix Plus Coconut Permanent, permanent, it's permanent everybody, it's permanent, it's come back, it's come back. So literally one, two videos ago I was talking about how obsessed I am with the coconut one because I got the uh, summer collection one that was with the fruity juicy campaign and it was nearly running out and I was gonna cry myself to sleep once it was gone and literally the next day boom there it was on the website so these are now permanent we don't have to panic buy we don't have to stockpile these anymore I'm so glad they listened because I just can't get enough of the coconut the coconut spray it's just oh it's everything I love it so that is it oh I also got this jumper if you're interested a jumper essentially made of tinsel look at it I mean it's everything it's the first jumper I've had on but my daughter has said when I asked her do you like my jumper she goes yeah normally she says no 
she's rude. So that is everything that I got for Christmas. I hope you had an amazing Christmas and got loads of presents that you love. I'm sure you did. Please let me know what makeup and beauty stuff that you got in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And um, please like and subscribe before you go, as I'd love to see you again. Take care for now. Bye 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 bye.